Hello and welcome to the Electronic 3. This is the 15th E3 I've been to. And guess what? For some reason, I still love it. And here we are at the Sony booth. You'll see, I'm sorry, we blocked this shot because we get to see all of these games. You got, you got Murder Girl, you got Kill Man, you got uh, Sad Warfighter, you know, and you got, you know, your little fantasy. However, since we've started filming, something very pressing has occurred to me. And it is that there's God Darn Ratchet from God Darn Ratchet and Clank just hanging out right over there. And uh, now here's the thing I think. When I see a video game character in public, I think I gotta go hug that guy. So let's go give him some of what for. What do you think? Go hug Ratchet. Let's 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 let's. I'm gonna get over to him, Woo! my friend. Can I can I can I hug you? Can, can we? My best friend. I love Ratchet. You'll be back someday. You'll be back someday. Are you jealous of Spider-Man? Let's continue. We've got Death Stranding here. We got his little baby, his baby in a bottle. Yeah, that's Norman Reedus and his jug full of fetus. So let's keep going this way. So you'll see Norman Reedus himself, star of the hit television series, The Walking Dead, and star of Hideo Kojima's Death Stranding, is here in person. And he is kind enough to be standing perfectly still so that every fan gets the same energy in their selfie. Do you see this? This is beautiful. It's just truly beautiful. I got a picture of myself with Norman Reedus last night at Sony's event. Uh, it's one of the proudest moments of my life. I think it's, it's a hilarious photograph. I'll show it to my children and I'll say, this was a promotion for the game Death Stranding. And of course they'll know Death Stranding 50 years from now or however many years it is that I end up having children. And they'll be like, Wow, because it'll be like regarded at that time as like the Citizen Kane of video games. It'll be, it'll be true art. They'll go, oh, that's that game that's almost as good as Tarkovsky's film Stalker, which people, which every kindergartner will know in the year 2088 or 2068. I don't even know how old I am. I don't even know what 50 years from now means. E3's got me, I've got E3 fever. So let's, uh, let's see if the cure is over here. Um, so Sony has this uh, this huge wide open space, this really really wide open zone for for people to sit in. It's kind of uh, like like viewing a concert on a on a grassy field on a starry night. This this giant beautiful luxurious screen also suffices as a nap zone. You can get a little a little nap here just basking in the glow of video games, dreaming a little dream of the future, of that not too far off day when The Last of Us 2 is available now, which it's not yet, by the way. It's actually not even playable here. Probably because they don't want anyone to have too much fun, that would be dangerous. Let's continue over here. So I've actually flown here from New York City, and uh, in order to make sure that I don't feel homesick, Sony Computer Entertainment, Sony Interactive Entertainment. It's hard to keep track of what their name is. It's Sony. Sony has provided me a little slice of home. As New Yorkian, as a Sicilian pie, we've got a slice of New York right here in Los Angeles. This uh, perfectly recreated New York City block. So, uh, the level of detail is, is obsessively authentic. All to put you in exactly the right mood for appreciating Spider-Man. Spider-Man by Insomniac Games. Oh my god. I believe the real Spider-Man is right there. Do you see him? He's in there. He's waiting in line to play his own game. The interest in Spider-Man is so high that Spider-Man himself has to wait in line to play it. I'm gonna go ahead and say if I were Spider-Man, I would quit. I would quit. I wouldn't stand for that. I'd be like, let me play the game for free at home. 
Don't make me come to E3 and wait in line. What have we got there? They're debuting Kingdom Hearts 3. Kingdom Hearts 3, a video game that millions of, of game likers are waking up nightly in ice cold sweat over their hunger for this game. Thousands upon thousands of nightmares have been dreamed in the fans. Nightmares about this game never coming out. It's, it's been an internet joke for a decade. Kingdom Hearts 3 is never going to come out. It's never going to come out. It's never going to come out. But here it is. It's real. And it's coming in January of 2019. In January of 2019, the suffering ends for millions and millions. You get to see, finally, we get to learn why this kid's wearing clown shoes. I just want to take a moment to point out the carpet here at the Sony booth. Very soft, luxurious carpet. You could stand on this all day. And that's what it's for. It's, it's relaxation for your feet. If you come in here wearing a good pair of shoes, we call that double luxury in the industry is what we call that. So we got Destiny 2 Forsaken finding a big gun. Do you see that gun? It's a giant gun. It's a guy poised like a bullet exiting the tip of this revolver. Uh, that's quite an image. So I believe the mode that they're playing here with Destiny 2 Forsaken, they're playing this new Gambit mode, which is a 4v4 kind of asynchronous two teams of four players playing in two different arenas uh, with all these weird MOBA mechanics, sending blockers and minions at one another. Just this weird, wild mode. And uh, we got to see it. Me and Jason Schreier got to a demo with Activision. And uh, I got to say, I want my buddies uh, Porter, Kerwin, and uh, Wazalewski, if you guys are watching at home, we should play Destiny 2. We should get, uh, we should get into that because that mode looks really good. Um, let's keep going. What else do we have? I see Call of Duty Black Ops 4. The internet joke is to call it Call of Duty Black Ops I, 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 I. I know a lot of intellectuals, they like to make jokes about Call of Duty, be like, oh, another one. I'll tell you what, at least it's not a post-apocalyptic game, right? Just saying. Let's continue. We've got plenty more to look at here because uh, Sony is just so god darn generous. They just can't stop showing us things. I love the tiling here. Do you see this tiling, this, uh, this lighting behind the logo? This is actually classy. It's like something you would see in a, in a Japanese hotel lobby. I'm pretty sure if I try to touch these tiles, somebody's going to yell at me. I know it. But I want to know, are they plastic? Or are they some more expensive material? It's very thin plastic. It's like packaging plastic. It's like something you'd see like a controller stored in. It's, it's very thin. It, it crinkled to the touch. I was hoping it would be like really fancy five-star hotel toilet porcelain, you know? They're letting, they're letting us up. That's it's very nice. I'm excited to see what's up here. We've been instructed not to touch anything. If I touch anything, I will die. Apparently, I don't know. They put, they, they injected me with fox dye earlier. Ooh. Finally, we're in a place that feels like a video game level. So I've a, I used to be a level designer of video games. This is what we call the gray box stage of making an E3 booth. This is black though, so it's not actually gray. What do we have? What's over here? There's a bunch of people with the, uh, VR headsets on their heads. This is uh, this is where. Do you see this guy? I didn't break the immersion. I augmented it. Let's uh, let's let's keep going this way. We've got the Star Trek bridge crew, the next generation. Star Trek, the next generation bridge crew had existed when I was 13 years old in the year 1993. I would be dead right now. I would have died of, I would have died of starvation. I, w <laughs> I would have died at like age 14. I'm just gonna stand here in the shadow of Spider-Man for a little bit longer. We probably don't have to film it. It's gonna take a long time standing here gazing up at Spider-Man to satisfy my, my spider hunger. 
I'll, sp I'll spare you the rest of that experience. For now, keep it tuned to uh, Kotaku.com. I'm Tim Rogers. I was born stupid. However, I will not die hungry. Video games forever at E3 2018. Kotaku.com. <laughs>